Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, advice. And um, I was talking in the last video with respect to the Korach Rebellion and how uh, Korach, the Levite, uh, wanted to uh, uh, usurp power, leadership from Moses, from Moshe Rabbeinu. And um, the way he did it was significant. It wasn't uh, military power. It wasn't a coup. Uh, he tried. He cloaked himself. Um, no pun intended. Uh, he cloaked himself um, as uh, in moral superiority. Uh, he uh, posed as a very righteous, a very observant person, asking questions of halacha. For example, he and his uh, his, uh, his congregants, his, uh, his followers, his gang, they show up wearing cloaks, uh, talisan, shawls, made entirely of techelis. Techelis is a very particular um, blue, uh, made of a certain dye from a certain uh, marine animal. It's, um, it's like a, a deep sky blue. Um, and he asks the question, he says, does a talus, a prayer shawl, completely made of techelis, a, a totally blue techelis, uh, talus, prayer shawl, does that need tzitzis, the fringes? As it says in the uh, uh, book of Numbers, uh, chapter 15, 28, 38, um, fringes in the corner of your garments, and put on them uh, a thread of blue. He says, what happens, if the, uh, what if the talus, what if the parashal is entirely made of, uh, of blue? Does it need tzitzis? And Moses said, yes, yes, of course it means needs tzitzis. And um, Korach would scoff at this answer. He says, how can you interpret it that way? That's, that's clearly not right. Uh, one th one thread of uh, blue and it sits as that validates an entire talus made made of tefillahs that doesn't make sense. Another seemingly self righteous, you know, observant, zealous question: a room that is filled with holy books, a room full of svarim. Does that need a, a mezuzah? And Moses says. Yes, of course. Again, Korach scoffed. What? There are only four verses. Con, uh, there's only a few verses contained um, in a, in a mezuzah. Here we have a, a, a room full of holy books, and those verses are repeated many, 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 many times. How... Uh, how does that make sense? You're, you're, it's ridiculous. Faulty reasoning with both arguments. Korach merely looked at the surface. He says, okay, well, uh, uh, a talus of uh, 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 a talus of blue doesn't need a tzitzis with a tzitzis. God says that a four-cornered garment, tzitzis al kanfei big dehem, in the corners of your garments, has to have Tzitzis. It doesn't matter that the garment is blue. God doesn't care what color it is. If it has corners, if it has four corners, like a poncho or something, you got to have tzitzis. That's it. End of story. It says a room. You should put uh, tzitzis on, uh, on the doorposts, the gateways. It's irrelevant what's in the room. Uh, I'm setting aside the issue of a bathroom. Um, doesn't matter that the room itself is filled of uh, filled with uh, holy things. Even the biblical words set out in the mezuzah itself. Again, he's looking at the surface. He doesn't go to the rationale. Uh, uh, a house has a mezuzah on it to show that the house belongs to God. That the whole the house is run according to the word of God. That's the meaning. Who cares if if the house is empty or if the house, the house is full of books or if you know, doesn't matter. This is the um, this is the problem. Um, Korach 
looks at the surface. He looks at the superficial. He sees a color. He sees a room full of books. And um, he didn't use his own God-given brains to delve into both the plain meaning and the rationale to look beyond the surface. And that's the precise problem that plagued Korach and his rebellion, and sadly, it is the exact same problem that plagues so many who have alienated themselves from the Torah. They'll take a halacha, and they'll say, this doesn't make sense. This uh, it can't mean that. and They miss it. The people who do this, they done missed it. Um, when you learn, learn properly. Uh, learn what God wants, not what you think should be um, the answer. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.